why I have yet to use this walking foot. This video is just going to drop facts from what I've researched. I haven't personally used this maybe once to try it out, but I'm just going to take what I see on the internet, these 15, 10 minute videos, compress it down into three or four minutes to tell you when you would need this. So let's get it. The general point for a walking foot is that when you have a sewing machine, you have the feed dogs at the bottom pulling the fabric through. So this gives you another set of arms on top to feed the fabric through, hence the walking on the top so that the fabric feeds through smoothly. A normal presser foot only has the bottom feed dogs, which means the top fabric can move around a lot. So it's a matter of when do you need a walking foot? Reason number one, slippery, silky material like satin. This makes sense. It's slippery, so the top fabric can move around as the feed dogs are pulling the bottom. So using a walking foot, you now have two feet, two dogs that are pulling the fabric through more smoothly. The second would be fabric with piling. So something like velvet or wool with very deep piles. That extra fluff on top of the material keeps it from staying in place. So walking foot, again, holds it down. Thirdly, jersey or knit. They usually have a bit of stretch to them, so they might feed into the machine at different rates. Walking foot, feed dogs on the bottom, dogs on top, holds it down. And lastly, fabric that you're trying to match up very precisely, I'd say printed patterns, fabric with stripes, or even if you're trying to get cotton twill and make it hit a perfect 90 degrees or match up from two different pieces, you'll want a walking foot. Because even with pins or clips, you can have the fabric compressed and held together. When you get under the machine, you start sewing, there's a lot of different variables that could distort it. The pressure from the presser foot, how you're holding the fabric, how slippery the presser foot is on the bottom, how slippery the material is, how it's feeding through by the feed dogs. There's so many different variables that can throw off the placement or the positioning of the fabric. So the walking foot's one tool to help prevent that and get a more precise stitch. In a nutshell, the walking foot is there to help prevent slippage, prevent stretching, prevent getting the fabric fed into the material at different rates. So you have an extra set of arms on top, an extra set of dogs to help feed the fabric through smoothly. So you get a more precise sew. So it'll help you get a better stitch. I just haven't found a use for it yet, but I probably will eventually. And I like the idea that I have it in case I will run into that situation. If you want a link for the presser foot that I got, this one's specific to the singer, I'll have a link below. And if you're interested in taking on more sewing projects, some with free digital sewing patterns diy kits or easy to follow videos just check out my channel until next time peace